15 more, 15 more hours to go for that. Okay, so he's now over there. And there's actually a quite nice feature with this interceptor now. Which will go to abuse, of course. Because he has zero percentage of fuel. <laughs> so uh, he has he actually has indefinite fuel, which we will use to fly around over North America to see actually what was going on here. Oh well, uh, we need to produce laser cannons. We can only produce a couple, like six or so. Oh, not even. Oh my god. We actually do have uh, many kits now. There you go. Eleven more days for a possible interceptor here. doing? Yeah, and they're ramping up more activity here. I'm really sure, but I guess we will have a and a float for termination over the US. So, quite nice. Oh yeah, of course, no, no more money for laser cards. Oh, 176 credits. Nice amount. So I know I can produce at least four laser cards. It will just take one day. Oh my god, this will slow down the progress of the game. Oh. Hello, you, dear. Hello. Let's find out what you are and what you're doing here. This means we will have some missions over Europe, probably. At least one or two, which is good. Because we need the extra money. The loot, which is money. Loot is money. Extra loot means extra money. And uh, laser cranes, of course. Okay, alien alloys should be going in now any moment. I guess I maybe I will delay the power city a little bit and go for the other stuff first because I actually need money now. It's my first priority over everything else. I have a lot of living space and I have two workshops which need to be filled up with people. Research completed. The alien alloys. Alien craft are constructed from special alloys with unique properties. They are extremely light and durable and can be molded by electromagnetic methods. This material can be reproduced and used in many kinds of manufacturing processes. Hello there. We can now research personal armor and I guess we will do that quickly. Because at the moment we do not really have the money actually to produce them, but it is a pre uh, it is required for the power suit. Oh, thanks for the muscles that we have that we research these uh, this topic. So we shall do that quickly. 
And this one new though, there should have been spawning more of you UFOs. of infrastructure. Hello, personal armor. It's um, quite weak, but it can withstand some shots. And it can save some lives sometimes. And it's not actually not that expensive to produce, if I can recall it. I guess I will now quickly research this navigator here. So uh, that we have him out of the way. And we can actually produce a uh, personal ammo. Um, hello. Okay, no, not enough workspace available. I actually wanted to check the production cost. Twenty-two thousand. A full set of suits would be like ten of these. Would cost me forty material. 40 alloys and 220,000 credits. Ah, oh, sure, why not? Let's do it. Eight days. Oh, what the fuck? And research completed. Alien supply. Once an alien base is constructed, then it is resupplied on a regular basis by a special supply vessel. If one of these vessels is detected by landing, then it is certain that an alien base is nearby. So we actually uh, should be searching for it, because um, there is a tendency in the game that when you um, investigate, research in a navigator, then the last alien mission which was conducted on Earth would have been uh, revealed, so to say. Well, at least uh, the, the last mission the UFO was on where the, this guy was on or something like that. So there's a tendency that we have a base on our planet and this is some concern. We need to find this base and look where it is and what kind of species, sp alien species is in it. If there is uh, floaters, then that's a, a good thing, William, which we can um, look at for a later um, and uh, XP. Mm. If it is uh, sectoids, I'm going to avoid it. Hello, and the sectoid species. The sectoid hierarchy ranges from soldiers to leaders with powerful psionic abilities. These psionic powers can be used to demoralize, demoralize soldiers in combat or even take control of their minds. Hmm, this is dangerous. They tend to indulge in human abductions and cattle mutilation. The abduction is used to extract genetic material for crossbreeding and developing clones for infiltrating human society. The cattle provide both nutrition and genetic material. This race appears to be uh, appears to want to develop superior genetic hybrids to increase the efficiency of their hive like society. Hmm, okay. Interesting. And we can now research the hyperwave decoder and, of course, alien origins. I guess I will go for the hyperwave decoder right away. Even if I only have 50 scientists, which is. Uh, could take a long time, but worth a shot. Oh, oh! Oh, so there will be a terror mission over Asia. Okay. Or not. Okay, you return the base, and uh, you patrol. Hmm. 
So, and there was definitely... Oh, hmm. Okay, <laughs> question answered. We have a terror mission here. With, uh, obviously with floaters. And um, I hope I have manufactured... Oh yeah, I actually do, do have manufactured one personal armor. But nice, um, I will equip this armor on him. On Mr. Jungo Fujimoto, which, because he's at the moment my top ranking soldier? Yes. And unfortunately he is also on the front lines, which sucks. So we actually will have some money which we can get from this mission. Which is a good thing. So we can actually maybe buy another interceptor in three days for the US. So we have an interceptor protection everywhere where we have also radar coverage, which is nice and good. Um. Do I have all the equipment I need? Let's check this quickly. Um, smoke grenades. We have ma machine scanners, mad kits. Okay. <laughs> so we actually have everything we need. Let's go on to the battlefield. Yeah, you petrol there. Targeted. I guess my score isn't that good this month. Mm, actually, it is. Um, this one mission I'm shooting down one on the UFO, but is that a good. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> my money spending is. I actually could go and... Oh. Would have been nice to have a second... A second uh, person armor here to equip it remotely. To teleport it on the Sky Ranger. Because you can actually do that. You can go here in the menu and you can just... He's actually on a mission. He's not in the base. I can't switch the armor around. It's actually... Mm, well, uh, kind of a uh, exploit. Mm. Mm. I would like to have some more uh, soldiers to screen, but um, <laughs> finances don't allow it. So we have to go into the battlefield. Hello there. Um, we, um, yeah, he will have a medkit. And, um, well, um, no medkit for you. You're just a stupid rocket dude. Oh, uh, well, uh, you can actually carry everything. Just nice. You are missing a grenade, of course. No medicates on you. And actually, you can have a scanner. Mm. You will. I'm not sure. Maybe he's too weak. Ah, I give him a scanner. Medkit. Medkit. Smoke grenade. He can have everything. Perfect. Okay, now my bread ran onto the battlefield. Let's see what we are facing. Okay. <laughs> I was already known that this mission would be floaters because we have uh, captured one UFO over the uh, US before with uh, floaters in it, so that's not unsurprisingly. 
Mm, that's actually quite nice. They are not looking in my direction. He's the only one that I can could kill him with the tank. I could just move out my tank and risk the fire, take the fire, or just kill him with a rocket. Let's kill him with a rocket. Uh, what the? What the? What the? What the? What the f fuck did us happen here? <laughs> there a guy with a stun launcher around? Oh, what? No one died, so. Oh! Okay, I guess he fired a shot at me. You're a mean bastard. Okay, he's almost there. Whoa! He stunned two of my guys. I cannot say I'm appreciating that. <laughs> um, versus. No, actually, three guys. Oh my god, they will not break up for a while. Hmm, that's actually. Uh, not appreciated. Um, so, we're actually going to try and do as much damage as we can with our only rocket that we have here. I'm firing at this dude here. Yeah. And only killing him? And maybe wounding the others. I don't like this. Also, random plasma bots flying around. Not appreciated. Really? I'm sorry, I'm... I'm impatient. Doing something like that on, on camera... No. I, I guess I have to take this damage. Oh, really? So one guy goes down. Where does he actually hit? Was this the second regular launcher? Oh, at least not the second regular launcher, dude. What the fuck? Okay, let's clear out these two there. Oh, at least one of them. Okay, he's not facing us. We can't eliminate him with a rocket launcher at any time. We actually have to deal with this one here. Kill him, please kill him and don't die! Um. It's a little bit straight shot here. Oh my god. She did hit him at least. Really? Come on. We still have two enemies, three enemies to deal with. Oh my god.